Liz Campbell. I'm the word stylist and I help business owners transform their business and their life through the power and beauty of words, so online content. And I absolutely love it. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing than teaching people how to have success with that. And putting yeah. out content that helps you sell more, whatever it is, products or services or your coaching or um, digital assets or programs or whatever it is. And you have to have a nice mix of content that helps you do that. But as you mentioned, that wonderful word helps you also be authentic and seem to be authentic. And I mm. think that's really important in this day and age because consumers and our beautiful clients are so much more savvier now than they've ever been. They can see the tactics coming a mile away. Mm. And without that um, authenticity, you're just gonna come off looking like that used car salesman. Mindset leads sales fulfillment. And what I see with a lot of women in business is they're really good at the fulfillment. They will do outstanding work, yeah. unbelievable, over the top. A lot of them are very good at actually generating activity. You see it online everywhere, but that mindset and then the, the leads conversion, you know, is where all the magic really happens. Really understand like where you're at and what, where you want to be and what are the steps or the things or the products or whatever it is that you need to hone in on. Mm. So I've also been there, Trevor, where I've just offered everything. And even at the start of this year, I sat down and I looked at where, where was all the profit coming from in the last six years of business? Like what were the actual products that made me not just sales, but actual profit? And I, I suppose like really understanding that and digging down into, okay, and I just say like sad face to happy face. Where are you now? <laughs> Where would you like to be? Like, what's your sad face all about? Like, and it might be something that's really quite small. It might be, oh, you know, I just, I can't put myself out there online. Or it might be around, I get heaps of leads, but I, I don't know what to do with them. And then what's going to make you feel really happy well getting lots of leads and the sales that come with it and then what's that area in the middle like who do you need to talk to is it is it a person that can help you is it a program that can help you is it just trusting yourself is it getting a coach on board you know what's that action or that step that's really stopping you from moving forward this is the most important important need that I feel is crying out out there. If, you, if I was to ask you, take me on a journey from what you do to say and meet and connect and enroll someone into or not into what it is that you do, do you know how to do that? Yeah. I feel that is the one of the biggest needs in the world because even I know when you and I have these chats, oh, let's have a conversation, let's determine, I know you know how to do it. And yeah. I know I know how to do it in a nice structured manner, like everyone knows how to write a post and put it up, right? And this is the thing that I am really committed to helping women with is because I know if we can get that right and the women that are getting it right are, are achieving wonderful results. And that is what I think I just want to jump in and add that it is a skill and it can be learned and it makes that conversation fun. I love it. Yeah. It keep learning and keep honing the skills, whatever it is that's getting in your way. So if it's a sales conversation, if you can't write content, if it's your figures and you don't understand them, like in, like get in touch with somebody that can help you. And I know one of the big things that stops people is that, oh my God, it's gonna cost me a lot of money or it's gonna take up so much of my time. But do you know if you just actually ask the question, even put it out on social or reply to one of Trevor's emails that you get and just say, you know what, I'm really struggling with this thing. What do you suggest? Or, you know, who do you suggest can help mm. me? And yep. if, it's, if it's Trevor, he's gonna say, well, I can actually help you with that. Here's a couple of things that you could do now, but what if we jumped on a call and I could then tell you a little bit more about how I can help you? Or he might say, hey, I actually know this really cool person, or I did this program on whatever it is, or I just signed up to this free thing that such and such had, and that really helped me. It might help you too. Whatever it is, whoever it's with, because I know there's a lot of different choices out there. My mm. personal tip to add to Liz's is, think about if I'm gonna do this program, what is the end thing that I would want mm by doing this program. If it is, I'm gonna study this program because I wanna be able to generate more leads and inquiries online that 
I can then convert into paying clients or I want to build my profile because I want whatever it is. Think about that and then ask the person. Like I had a lady recently contact me, Liz, and she said, I would like help with knowing how to sell this thing that I represent in my job because the way I'm doing lead generation, it is not converting to sales. And I've gone, okay, so how much money do you want to make if we do this work together? We got clear on the money. We now know what it is. And she paid me that much to make that much because now I know, and that's the way I work is measurable results. And anyway, so what I'm saying is just figure out what it is that you want as the end result before you go and look at investing into anything. Because I say high fiving's great, but at the end of the day, I think more so than ever, we're all looking for a return on the effort and energy that we're putting into something. That's right. And that's a big thing that people will say to me when I ask them what their issue is with content. It's return on investment and mm. that is time and money. Yeah. But you've got to, you, that's why I say sad face to happy face. What's your happy face? Like, what does that look like for you? And then what? So, is- you mean like happy face? I've got lots of leads coming in and I'm having lots of conversations. I'm really happy as opposed to sad. Um, I'm doing lots of stuff, but I'm not getting anything coming through and I'm sad. Yeah, that's it. I love so where, that, are you, where are you now? Like, what is the issue for you now? A lot of the time with the people I speak to, it is around no engagement, no leads, and definitely not getting con- clients from their content. Yeah. And so I go, okay, well then what does the happy face look like? And it's like, you know, when you think about you know, when you've got like money in the bank and you can go and pay for that $5,000 course like straight up and you love, you know, you're in love with everything you do and, you know, you can take time off because you've got a nice little team behind you or something like that's happy face, right? And so what's missing in the middle? Like what are the steps there? What's missing? So, you know, for my clients, it's around getting the, the content right. So making sure that you you know where you're at in the content journey understanding like what content you need to put out without like take it taking up so much of your time and then making sure you've got a few of those sales elements happening as well and especially around like just even following up with people or having yeah. a conversation online with people or replying to a message that you get you know if you could share with us quickly your i call them where are we fishing ponds because okay. uh I am online a lot looking around what's going on and I actually notice you're not on a lot of organic stuff. You're actually, I know you're very committed to your database marketing. So, because my whole thing now is more and more about niching an inch wide a mile deep. So for you, where are say your two or three areas that you are really committed to where you are doing your marketing to? Yeah, yeah. So list is definitely one. And we have our list segmented so that we can, um, you know, talk to people who are either really interested in what we've got or just talk to those who are not so interested, keep nurturing those guys with, um, you know, really great content uh, and newsletters every week, that sort of thing. Um, The other area... I love those newsletters, by the way. What is it? (laughs) I love those newsletters. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. And you know what? I really put a lot of thought into those newsletters. Like, yeah. and I think that's a key too, is that if you want better results from what you're getting, you really have to put the time and effort in. You have to raise your Give it the love. Up. Give it the love. You have to. And it's the same thing. Like, you know, if you want to cook an amazing dish for your lover, right? If you just leave it for the last 10 minutes and throw together something on a plate and then they rock up and you're like, yeah, here's this thing, or it's not ready yet, we're going to have to wait four hours for the chicken to cook or whatever. (laughs) But if you actually put some time and love into it and go, right, I want to do this recipe and I know that they like this thing and I'm going to spend an hour before going to the supermarket and prepping and you know, putting that love in. I'm going to make it with love. I'm going to have some music going. I'm going to get right into the feeling of it, right? (laughs) You're going to have a lot better results. Like, and you're going to have this beautiful meal ready to go. Very happy partner. Exactly right. (laughs) Rather than a, oh, sorry, I've been too busy to do it. Here's a wrap with whatever was left (laughs) of Here's baked beans on toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when you do put that love into it, I always say put like good energy into it. Sit down with that good energy to create. So there's list and of course social. We go out um, on social 
and on our platforms regularly, but the other area is promotion. Promotion of the content. So not so much promotion of me or promotion of the services or even um, the promotion of our of our events and that sort of thing. It's more about the promotion of the content. So if you've got a blog or if you've got even the newsletter that you put out that you put so much love into, you can do some promotion content around that to get more people to sign up to get that newsletter. Okay. Then it's not a case of, um, you know, I've got to be salesy online or I've got to get all these sales on, on from my social media or whatever it is. It's more of a case of, Here's a great piece of content that I know will really help you and you can get it here by signing up to this thing, whatever it is. And we do that a lot with our free downloads and our challenges and things like that. And it might be free stuff. And then of course you have the, the paid stuff. So our, our workshops and our other premium content, like um, you know our trainings and that sort of thing. Uh, but it's the way then in which you write that content that mm. will actually get you the return on the investment. So how does, um, what if, what if, what, if someone wants to connect with you watching this, uh, I'll put your stuff below. Yeah. Yeah. That and, would be fantastic. Yeah. Pleasure. And I think we could probably talk another time and get into maybe a bit more strategy. So if anyone's yeah. watching this and wants to hear more from the lovely Liz and maybe the um, me, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let us know and we'll do some more deep diving into um, yeah. this information because I think it is so helpful. Thanks, Liz. Make sure that we have a good mindset. Have a look at the, le the learnings. I just want to wrap up from what we've gotten here is if it's, you know, wherever we are what's the gap that's going to move us from sad face to happy face who do we get help with or what do we need to do to to really bridge that gap and i think i want to add to that and if anyone wants to have a chat to me my details are below we do a um a business sales growth planning session where i will very quickly look at that process which is exactly that but contact me if you want to do that. That information's below. But yeah, I think, Liz, what I really like about what you've shared is having the willingness to actually really have a look at those processes and really deciding to own it and saying, what is working? What is it? Forget fear. Let's reach out. Let's figure it out. And let's get a better flow going and stop all this. Oh, I'm hiding out and I don't want to talk to anyone. And do I have to make a phone call? It's killing people. It's it killing their ability to achieve. So I'm going to jump in and say, you can learn to do it authentically. I promise you, there is a structure. It does not need to be scary, I assure you. It's all trial and error. Some of them you just write off and you go, oh God, that was never doing that again. Or, you know, you take some advice from someone and they to have a different, completely different structure to you and it doesn't feel right, but you're doing it and you're saying it and you're like, this doesn't feel good for me. And so it really is like a matter of coming at it from a genuine point of view, feeling authentic, doing something that feels good for you as well, that also gets that result. And I can say all in all honesty that Trevor, you can definitely help people with that. Oh, thanks, Liz. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, everyone who watched this. We appreciate your time. You know how to connect with Liz. You want to be extraordinary in your ability to write and share with your passion and have floods of people contacting you because of the beautiful words that Liz teaches you to write. And if I can help with that ability to convert those prospects and leads and inquiries into happy paying clients authentically it is very possible so you know how to reach both of us thank you so much Liz for your time thank and you. don't go yet and hang up I'm going to stop this recording <laughs> but say thank you and then I'll pause and uh, we'll see you guys again soon thank you